now move into the next slide that is memory representation the computer memory stores different kinds of data like input data output data intermediate results etc and the instruction binary digit or bit is a basic unit of memory a bit is a single binary digit that is 0 or 1 a bit is a smallest unit of representation of data in a computer however the data is handled by the computer as a combination of bits a group of 8 bits form a byte a uh, 8 bits is equal to 1 byte that is represented by capital b 1024 bytes make a 1 kilobyte again 1024 kilobytes make a 1 megabyte and 1024 megabytes make a 1 gigabyte that is represented by gb and 1024 gb make a 1 terabyte that is represented by tb okay now move to the next slide that is memory hierarchy <coughs> the memory is characterized on the basis of two key factors that is capacity and the access time you will see the uh, see in the figure on the left side now capacity is the amount of information in bits that a memory can store access time is the time interval between the read and write request and the availability of data the lesser the access time the faster is the speed of the memory ideally we want the memory with the fastest speed and the largest capacity however the cost of the fast memory is very high the computer uses hierarchy of the memory that organize in a manner to enable the fastest speed and largest capacity of memory the you are also see that the the figure in the in the slide okay now memory hierarchy system consists of all storage devices from auxiliary memory to main memory to cache memory as you goes down in the hierarchy cost per bit it decreases capacity increases access time increases frequency of access by the processor decreases you see in the figure in this figure the components in a typical memory hierarchy at the bottom of the hierarchy are the relatively so the magnetic tapes used to store the removable files next are the magnetic disk used as backup storage the main memory occupies a central position by being able to communicate directly with the cpu and the auxiliary memory devices through the input output processes program not currently needed in the main memory are transferred into a auxiliary memory to provide the space for currently used programs and the data the cache memory is used for storing segments of programs currently being executed in the cpu the input output processor manages data transfer between auxiliary memory and the main memory now now move into the next slide 